In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the volume and the surface area of a cone, in addition to the lateral area. So here we have a cone, and that is the radius r. This is going to be the height h. And then this is the distance L, which is known as the slant height. So what we have here is a, a right triangle. So in order to find a slant height, you can use this equation. L squared is R squared plus H squared, which comes from the Pythagorean theorem of a right triangle. C squared is A squared plus B squared. So that's the equation you need to relate R, H, and L together. Now, in order to find the volume of a cone, you need to use this equation. It's one-third base times height, where B represents the base of, B is the area of the base, which is basically the area of the circle. So it's one-third pi r squared times height. The area of a circle is pi r squared. So combined, this gives you the volume equation of a cone. Now, in order to find a surface area, you need to know that the surface area is the area of the base plus the lateral area. The lateral area is pi times r times the slant height l. The area of the base is pi r squared plus the lateral area, which is pi r l. So combined, this will give you the surface area. So these are the equations that you need to find the volume of a cone, the lateral area, and the surface area. So let's work on an example. Let's say the radius of a cone is 5 centimeters, and the height of the cone is 12 centimeters. Using this information, go ahead and find the volume, the lateral area, and the surface area of the cone. So let's start with the volume. We know the volume is one-third the area of the base, which is pi r squared, times the height of the cone. So we have the radius, which is 5, and the height is 12. 5 squared is 25, and 25 times 12 if you have 12 quarters, that would be $3. So 25 times 12 is 300. So this is 1 third pi times 300, and 1 third of 300 is 100. So the volume is 100 pi. And the units is going to be cubic centimeters. Now how can we find the lateral area? Feel free to pause the video and go ahead and find the lateral area. Before we could find the lateral area, we need to calculate the slant height. So we got to find L. Let's use this equation first. L squared is equal to R squared plus H squared. So R is 5, H is 12. 5 squared, or 5 times 5, that's 25. 12 squared, 12 times 12 is 144. And if we add those two numbers, that's going to give us 169. Now let's take the square root of both sides. The square root of L squared is L. The square root of 169 is 13. So L is 13 centimeters long. So now that we have the value of L, we could find the lateral area. It's pi times R times L. So that's pi times 5 centimeters times 13 centimeters. 5 times 13 is 65. Now what are the units for lateral area? Well if you multiply centimeters by centimeters you're going to get square centimeters. So anytime you're dealing with area it's going to be square units with volume cubic units or units cube. So the lateral area is just 65 pi square centimeters. So now that we have the lateral area, 
we can find a surface area. The surface area is the area of the base plus the lateral area. So the area of the base is pi r squared. The lateral area is pi r l. So this is going to be pi times 5 squared plus pi times 5 times 13. 5 squared is 25. And we know 5 times 13 is 65. 25 plus 65, that's 90. So the surface area is 90 pi square centimeters. So now you know how to find the volume, the lateral area, and the surface area of a cone. Let's work on another example. So this time, let's say we're given the slant height and the radius. Now let's say the radius is 7 inches and the slant height is 25 inches. So feel free to pause the video. Go ahead and calculate the volume, the surface area, and the lateral area. So we know that R is 7 and L is 25. What we need to find is H. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate it. So we know that L squared is equal to R squared plus H squared. So L is 25 r is 7, and let's find the value of h. 25 squared is 625. 7 squared is 49. Now, in order to get h squared by itself, we got to subtract both sides by 49. So 625 minus 49, that's going to be 576. So that's equal to h squared. Now our next step is to take the square root of both sides. And the square root of 576, that's going to give you 24. So that's the value of h. h is 24 inches. Now that we have the value of h, let's go ahead and calculate. OK, what just happened? Let's go ahead and calculate the volume. So the volume is going to be 1 third pi r squared times h. So r, in our example, is 7, and h is 24. 7 squared, or 7 times 7, that's 49. 1 third of 24, if you do 24 divided by 3, that's 8. So we have 8 pi times 49. When multiplying 8 times 49, if you want to do it in your head, replace 49 with 50 minus 1. 8 times 5 is 40, so 8 times 50, that's going to be 400. And 8 times 1 is 8. So if you subtract 400 by 8, you get 392. And it turns out that if you type in 8 times 49, it's 392. So that's going to be the volume. The volume is 392 pi cubic inches. Now let's go ahead and calculate the lateral area. And then let's find a surface area. So let's start by writing the equation. The lateral area is pi times r times l. So r is 7, l is 25. Now if you have 7 quarters, that's a buck 75. So 7 times 25 is 175. So the lateral area is 175 pi square inches. Now let's calculate the surface area. So the surface area of the cone is going to be the area of the base plus the lateral area. The area of the base is pi r squared. The lateral area is pi r l. So r in this example is 7. And we know that pi r l, that's 175 pi. 7 squared is 49, so we got to add 49 pi to 175 pi. So 179, I mean, excuse me, 175 plus 49, that's 224. So the surface area is 224 pi square inches.
And so that's it for this example. Now let's try one more example for the sake of practice. So this time, let's say if you're given the diameter instead of the radius. Let's say that the diameter is 12 feet. And you're given the slant height, which is 10 feet. Go ahead and find the volume, lateral area, and the surface area. Now the first thing we need to find is the radius. The diameter is twice the value of the radius. So therefore the radius is half of the diameter. So half of 12 is 6. So that's going to give us the radius. Now we need to find the height. We know that the slant height is 10. We've got to find the actual height. So using this equation, L squared is equal to R squared plus H squared. So 10 squared is equal to 6 squared plus 8 squared. 10 squared is 100. 6 squared is 36. And 100 minus 36 is 64. And the square root of 64 is 8. So the height of the cone is 8 feet. It's a pretty long cone. Now let's calculate the volume first using this equation. One-third pi r squared times the height. So r is 6, h is 8. 6 squared, that's 36. And if we take 36 and divide it by 3, that's going to give us 12. And 12 times 8 is 96. So the volume is 96 pi cubic feet. Now that we have the volume, let's go ahead and calculate the lateral area. So that's going to be pi RL. R is 6, L is 10, 6 times 10 is 60. So the lateral area is 60 pi square feet. Now the last thing we need to do is calculate the surface area. So keep in mind that's going to be the area of the base plus the lateral area. So that's pi r squared plus pi r l. So it's pi times 6 squared plus 60 pi that we got before. 6 squared is 36. 36 plus 60 is 96. So it turns out that the surface area and the volume are the same in this problem but the units are different. In the case of the surface area, we're dealing with square units or square feet, but for volume, it's cubic feet.